<laughs> How hard was that? Four hundred and fifty-five dollars later. <laughs> oh no! What a mess. We're going to Germany. When people asked who I was coming on this trip with, I was like, "Oh, I'm coming with my sister." And although I love my sister so dearly, um, I made. <laughs> Mean joke, sorry Taryn, that she was like dead weight sometimes when it comes to travel. <laughs> and so, Taryn, essentially. Oh. So Taryn didn't realize that in a lot of European countries, and a lot of countries in general, your passport has to um, not be close to expiring. It's October right now and Taryn's passport expired in December. We went to check in the night before our flight for online check-in and basically found out that we could not check in because Germany's specific rule for this passport is that you have to not have a passport expiring three months after you travel. After you come home since it's October and Taryn's passport expires in December. She was out of luck. So we kind of had this like freak out. So I was like, oh, is Taryn like coming to Germany with me at all? Like, what's happening? But um, Taryn had foreign affairs calling her. She had to meet up with someone in like Mississauga. But here she is, um, made it to Germany. 450 Canadian dollars less rich and um, we made it. We're staying at St. Christopher's Inn Hostel. Um, so far, it's been really good. We have a little like bar and a restaurant in the bottom of our hostel, which is really nice. And it's a really great area. It's really close to TV Tower, which is really cool. We met up with one of Taryn's friends from high school and we went to like this flea market that was open on Sunday because it's Sunday today. Um, and now we're just gonna take a stroll around, kind of get our bearings in Berlin. There's so many amazing things like, we're just walking and like, yeah. So we can already tell it's gonna be a really amazing city. Um, one of the people that we just met said that this was the favorite city that they've ever been to. So oh. yeah, Savannah said that. Oh. All right, good morning. It's day two. Taryn's got a pretzel. So today we're doing one main tour, but later on in the day. But we have to meet at, oh, I don't know how to say this gate. I'm gonna put the name on the gate. Brandenburg? Brandenburg. I haven't even looked at it. I'm gonna put the name on the screen though. It's actually like really warm. I think today it's gonna get up to like 22 degrees, right? But right now, we're at the gate. Let's go take some photos. tour is 13 euros for students which I am again great Europe tip if you have a student card make sure you bring it because there's so many good student deals and then it's 15 euros if you're not a student this is gonna take us around like the Holocaust Memorial um, I think we're gonna see like Hitler's bunker and I just think it's gonna be really interesting like definitely something you have to do if you're in Berlin also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but we just booked this tour right through our hostel. Um, we just booked right at the reception desk, and a lot of the tours in Berlin, you have to, well, a lot of the tours of this company, you have to have um, a transit card. So, for example, the tours that we wanted to do, we needed an AB transit card. So, a day pass for the AB transit card was about seven euros. It's not that expensive, but just something to keep in mind, but I think it's going to be really useful for us to have a transit card anyway, just to get around.
Hello, what's up? It's day three. Guess who slept in and missed their morning tour? We did. So today we are gonna try to catch a later tour, maybe at two o'clock. Um, we're just at our favorite, uh, our favorite little sausage stand right now. I'm getting currywurst. Um, currywurst is so good. It's like sausage with ketchup on it and curry powder. And sounds like a weird combo, but it's really good. And then Karen's getting some bratwurst. Um, what is bratwurst? Sausage. See, I don't understand like what's the difference between that and a regular sausage. Ask him. Ask the sausage man. <laughs> um, so today we're gonna do just like a basic walking tour of Berlin, and then we'll probably go back and hit some spots that we see on the tour by ourselves. Also, in case anyone's wondering um, where we are, it's literally the the gate is like right there. <laughs> Prime location. How much do you love sausages? <gasps> this one. <much. laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention how we've been getting around this week so far we've been using like a lot of the electronic scooters um you may recall my first stunt with electronic scooters in austria oh <laughs> this thing down oh. but you had to kick off for <laughs> how many is that <laughs> no <laughs> But this time we actually figured out how to do it. Um, Taryn's been using a different app than me. I really like the app Jump because it connects with your Uber and then you scan a barcode, like a QR code on the scooter and then it costs like a euro to unlock and then like 20, 15, 20 cents for every minute that you're riding. So like, for example, we were riding the other day for like 15 minutes and it cost us like three euro, which is pretty nice because they're really fun and it helps you get around the city quicker, right? <laughs> We look like big old tourists with these scooters, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, my sister is filming me, filming myself. Like, this is just 
Right now, we just got here. We're staying at the Generator Hostel. I really like it already because it was super close to the train that we took in here. The train from Berlin to Hamburg was about like an hour and a half. Um, and then it was like a 10 minute walk to get to our hostel, which was super convenient. It has like a full big mirror in the room and a nice sitting area. Oh, I gotta go find my sister. Today, we thought it'd be a good idea to like familiarize ourselves with the city um, if we did one of the free walking tours. getting an immunity shot right now. So here's the thing. My sister's a nurse um, and I'm in my post-grad. We're both very busy. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we didn't really come with any specific plan in mind and no real knowledge and sometimes it's fun to do for trips. So today um, we're just gonna like walk around, get a transit card, see things that we want to see. We have a couple things in mind, but like nothing huge and yeah. <laughs> Usually I have something to say about what we're doing for the day, but today I got nothing guys. We're just winging it. <laughs> I didn't film Nitro, so I'm doing it right now. I definitely want to come back and visit some other countries in Germany one day, but this trip was an amazing experience to just kind of like get away from school for a week and kind of relax. Um, I love being in Europe. This trip also kind of helped me see the beauty in not always planning. Usually for a lot of my trips, like I mentioned before, I have like a definitive plan, usually of what I'm doing every day and things that I want to see. And this trip, it was really just nice to kind of like relax and just kind of go with the flow and see what happens. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. I make videos every time I travel. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Rome with Rach. It's the exact same as my YouTube handle. And if you like Europe vlogs specifically, I was in Europe all last spring so I can link my little Europe series um, up here. So you can go check that out. Thanks so much and I'll see you in my next video.